BPC-157 is a 15-amino acid peptide derived from a natural protein in gastric juice known as body protection compound. It promotes healing by stimulating angiogenesis, new blood vessel formation, collagen production, and fibroblast migration, all vital for repairing muscle, tendon, and ligament tissue. It also helps protect the gut lining and reduce inflammation by balancing nitric oxide and growth factor signaling. Athletes use it to recover faster from injuries such as tendonitis or joint strain. Though animal studies show promising regenerative results, human trials are limited. Some users report reduced joint pain and faster post-workout recovery. However, it's not FDA approved, and purity issues are common with underground sources. Potential side effects include mild headaches, nausea, or dizziness. Despite the hype, BPC-157 remains experimental, with more data needed to confirm long-term safety and clinical effectiveness. TB-500 is a synthetic version of thymosin beta-4, a natural peptide found in nearly all human cells. Its main role is to regulate actin, a protein essential for cell movement and structure. By enhancing actin production, TB500 promotes cell migration and repair, especially in injured or inflamed tissues. It also encourages angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels, which improves oxygen delivery and speeds up healing. In bodybuilding, it's often combined with BPC-157 to accelerate recovery from muscle tears, ligament injuries, or joint pain. Users claim better flexibility, reduced inflammation, and faster wound healing. However, research in humans is limited, and most evidence comes from animal studies. Unregulated products may vary in quality and dosage accuracy. Side effects can include fatigue, mild nausea, or temporary lethargy. TB500 is not approved for medical use, but is commonly used off-label for recovery and performance enhancement. CJC1295 is a synthetic peptide designed to stimulate the body's natural release of growth hormone, GH, by mimicking growth growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH. It binds to GHRH receptors in the pituitary gland, triggering GH secretion and indirectly raising insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1 levels. There are two types, CJC-295 with DAC, drug affinity complex, which extends its half-life to about a week, and CJC-1295 without DAC, which lasts only a few hours but mimics natural GH pulses more closely. Increased GH and IGF-1 can improve recovery, fat loss, muscle growth, and sleep quality. In bodybuilding, CJC-1295 is often stacked with ipamorelin to maximize GH pulses while minimizing side effects like cortisol or prolactin spikes. Common side effects include water retention, numbness in hands, and headaches. It remains unapproved for human use outside clinical research but is popular in performance and anti-aging circles. Ipamorelin is a selective growth hormone-releasing peptide that works by mimicking ghrelin, the natural hunger hormone, to stimulate the pituitary gland. It triggers the release of growth hormone, GH, in short, controlled bursts while avoiding unwanted increases in cortisol or prolactin, two hormones that can cause fatigue and water retention. This makes ipamorelin one of the cleanest and safest GH secretagogues. It promotes lean muscle growth, faster recovery, improved sleep, and enhanced fat metabolism. Because it supports the body's natural GH rhythm, it is often combined with CJC-1295 for synergistic results. The peptide's half-life is around two hours, allowing flexible timing before sleep sleep or post-workout. Side effects are mild and may include slight dizziness, hunger, or temporary bloating. While athletes praise it for its steady effects and minimal stress response, it remains unapproved for medical use and banned in competitive sports. GHRP2, growth hormone-releasing peptide 2, is one of the earliest synthetic peptides created to trigger natural growth hormone, GH release. It binds to ghrelin receptors in the hypothalamus and pituitary gland, prompting a sharp, short-term surge of GH secretion. This rise stimulates stimulates muscle protein synthesis, recovery, and fat metabolism while also supporting connective tissue repair. Compared to other GH secretagogues, GHRP2 moderately increases appetite and improves sleep quality due to its effect on GH and IGF-1 levels. However, it can slightly elevate cortisol and prolactin, especially with high doses, which may reduce anabolic benefits if misused. Athletes use it for recovery and lean mass gain, often pairing it with CJC-1295 or Sermorelin for stronger GH pulses. Reported side effects include mild flushing, water retention, or fatigue. Like most peptides in this category, GHRP2 remains unapproved for human use and banned in professional sports. GHRP6, growth hormone releasing peptide 6, is a potent ghrelin mimetic that triggers the pituitary gland to release growth hormone, GH. It works by activating ghrelin receptors, leading to rapid GH secretion and an increase in insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1 production. This process supports muscle repair, fat metabolism, 
metabolism, and tissue regeneration. What sets GHRP6 apart is its powerful appetite-stimulating effect, making it popular among bodybuilders trying to bulk up or maintain high-calorie intake. However, this same property can cause excessive hunger if used improperly. GHRP6 can also mildly elevate cortisol and prolactin levels, which may affect hormone balance over time. It's commonly stacked with CJC1295 or sermorelin to enhance GH pulses while keeping dosing natural. Side effects can include bloating, water retention, and fatigue. Despite strong recovery benefits, it's still considered experimental and not approved for therapeutic or competitive use. Sermorelin is a synthetic peptide composed of 29 amino acids, the active fragment of natural growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH. It works by binding to GHRH receptors in the E pituitary gland, stimulating the body to release its own growth hormone, GH, in short, natural pulses. This approach supports muscle repair, fat metabolism, bone density, and improved sleep without the risks of synthetic GH injections. Sermorelin is often prescribed in anti-aging or hormone replacement therapies to restore youthful GH levels safely. In bodybuilding, it's used to maintain lean muscle mass and accelerate recovery. Because it enhances endogenous GH, it's less likely to cause hormone suppression or receptor desensitization. Side effects are generally mild, temporary flushing, injection site irritation, or dizziness. Clinical studies show gradual improvements in energy, skin elasticity, and body composition. While medically approved for GH deficiency, it remains banned for athletic performance enhancement. IGF-1 LR3, long ARGS-3 insulin-like growth factor 1, is a modified version of natural IGF-1, engineered to last longer and act more powerfully in the body. It works by binding to IGF-1 receptors on muscle and bone cells, activating the PI3K ACT mTOR pathway, the main driver of muscle protein synthesis and cell growth. Its extended half-life of around 20-30 hours allows for sustained anabolic effects compared to natural IGF-1, which lasts only minutes. In bodybuilding, IGF-1 LR3 is prized for promoting lean muscle gain, improving recovery, and enhancing nutrient delivery to muscle tissue. It also stimulates satellite cell activation, allowing damaged muscle fibers to grow larger and stronger. However, misuse can cause hypoglycemia, organ growth, or receptor desensitization. Because of its potent systemic effects, it's banned in professional sports and not approved for general medical use. Reliable dosing and purity are major safety concerns. PEG-MGF, pegylated Meccano growth factor, is a synthetic, long-acting version of MGF, a splice variant of the IGF-1 gene that is released by muscle cells after intense exercise or injury. It plays a key role in muscle regeneration by activating satellite cells the stem cells responsible for repairing and growing new muscle fibers. The pegylation process extends its half-life from minutes to several days, allowing for sustained anabolic activity. PEG-MGF stimulates muscle repair, reduces recovery time, and may even protect against muscle wasting from overtraining or injury. In bodybuilding, it's often used post-workout to maximize the recovery window and enhance muscle hypertrophy. However, evidence in humans remains limited, and improper dosing may cause imbalanced muscle growth or tissue swelling. Side effects effects can include fatigue, injection site irritation, or hypoglycemia-like symptoms. Despite its recovery potential, PEG-MGF is unapproved for medical use and remains on banned substance lists. Folistatin-344 is a naturally occurring protein-based peptide that binds to and inhibits myostatin, a growth-limiting molecule that prevents excessive muscle development. By blocking myostatin's action, Folistatin-344 removes the body's natural restriction on muscle growth, allowing satellite cells to proliferate and muscle fibers to enlarge rapidly. It also modulates other members of the TGF-beta family, influencing tissue repair and cell differentiation. In bodybuilding, it's viewed as one of the most powerful experimental peptides for increasing lean mass without significant fat gain. Users claim noticeable strength improvements and visual muscle fullness even without high-calorie diets. However, scientific evidence in humans is scarce, and long-term suppression of myostatin could disrupt tendon integrity, organ size, or cardiac muscle balance. Possible side effects include joint discomfort, fatigue, and hormonal imbalances. It is not approved for clinical use and is banned in all competitive sports due to its strong anabolic potential. GHKQ is a naturally occurring tripeptide composed of glycine, histidine, and lysine bound to a copper ion. It plays a vital role in wound healing, collagen synthesis, 
and anti-inflammatory processes. By delivering bioavailable copper to tissues, GHKQ activates enzymes involved in rebuilding skin, blood vessels, and connective tissue. It also stimulates fibroblast activity, boosts keratinocyte migration, and increases the production of extracellular matrix proteins like collagen and elastin. In bodybuilding and anti-aging therapy, it's valued for accelerating recovery from skin and muscle injuries, reducing inflammation, and improving skin firmness and hair growth. Studies also show antioxidant and protective effects against oxidative stress at the cellular level. GHKQ is available in topical, injectable, or serum form, with mild side effects such as temporary redness or skin irritation. Although widely studied for cosmetic use, it remains unapproved for systemic or performance-enhancing purposes. Melanotin-2 is a synthetic analog of the body's natural alpha-melanocyte-stimulating hormone, AMSH, which activates melanocortin receptors in the skin. By stimulating melanin production in melanocytes, it darkens the skin tone and provides protection against UV damage, functioning like an internal tanning agent. Beyond pigmentation, melanotin-2 also influences other melanocortin receptors linked to sexual function, appetite, and energy balance. As a result, users often experience enhanced libido and erectile response, which has led to its use in treating certain forms of sexual dysfunction. In bodybuilding, it's mainly used for maintaining a year-round tan to enhance muscle definition and appearance. Side effects can include nausea, facial flushing, increased moles or freckles, and, in rare cases, darkening of existing skin spots. While effective at darkening skin quickly, melanotin-2 is not FDA-approved and poses risks when sourced from unregulated suppliers. Hexarelin is a potent growth hormone-releasing peptide, GHRP, derived from the same family as GHRP-2 and GHRP-6, but designed for stronger and more consistent GH stimulation. It binds to ghrelin receptors in the pituitary gland and hypothalamus, triggering large pulses of growth hormone while also boosting IGF-1 levels. This results in enhanced muscle recovery, improved collagen synthesis, and potential joint protection through strengthened connective tissue. Many athletes report increased endurance, deeper sleep, and faster injury healing. However, hexarelin's strong GH response can lead to desensitization if used continuously, which is why it's often cycled. It can also mildly elevate prolactin and cortisol, causing fatigue or water retention in sensitive users. Hexarelin has shown cardioprotective properties in research, improving heart muscle repair and lipid metabolism. Despite promising data, it remains unapproved for human use and is classified as a banned substance under anti-doping regulations. Tessamorelin is a synthetic peptide that mimics growth hormone-releasing hormone, GHRH, prompting the pituitary gland to secrete more growth hormone, GH. This rise in GH boosts metabolism, increases lean body mass, and reduces visceral fat, the deep abdominal fat linked to insulin resistance and cardiovascular disease. It activates the same GH-IGF-1 axis responsible for muscle repair, tissue regeneration, and improved recovery. In medical use, tessamorelin is FDA-approved for treating HIV-associated lipodystrophy, where it effectively decreases abdominal fat without major safety issues. In bodybuilding, it's used off-label to promote fat loss while maintaining muscle mass. Users often notice improved sleep, sharper muscle definition, and faster recovery between workouts. Side effects can include mild joint pain, water retention, or numbness in extremities from elevated IGF-1 levels. Although safer than exogenous GH injections, tessamorelin is prescription only and banned in professional sports for its performance-enhancing effects. Fragment 176-191 is a modified section of the human growth hormone, HGH molecule, consisting of amino acids 176 through 191. This small fragment retains the fat-burning properties of GH without the broader growth or insulin-like effects. It specifically targets adipose tissue by increasing lipolysis, fat breakdown, and inhibiting lipogenesis, fat storage. Studies show it can significantly reduce abdominal and stubborn body fat, even in the absence of changes to diet or exercise. Because it doesn't affect blood sugar or organ growth, it's considered safer than full HGH therapy. In bodybuilding, it's used during cutting phases to enhance fat loss while preserving muscle mass. Common dosing is multiple subcutaneous injections daily to maintain steady activity. Reported side effects are mild, temporary irritation at the injection site, or slight fatigue. Though promising for fat reduction, Fragment 176-191 is not FDA-approved and remains an experimental peptide banned in sports competition. Kispeptin-10 is a synthetic version of a natural peptide that regulates reproductive hormone release. It acts on the hypothalamus, stimulating the secretion of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, which then signals the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. These two 
hormones directly influence testosterone production in males and fertility regulation in both sexes. For bodybuilders, Kiss Peptin 10 is primarily valued for restoring natural testosterone levels after anabolic steroid use or maintaining hormonal balance during peptide cycles. Unlike traditional post-cycle therapy drugs, it supports the body's own hormonal axis instead of forcing stimulation. Users report improved libido, mood, and energy. Side effects are minimal but can include temporary flushing or mild headaches. Because it affects reproductive pathways, misuse can disrupt natural hormone feedback loops. Kispeptin 10 is still in experimental stages and is not approved for clinical or performance use. Epitalon, also called epithalon, is a synthetic tetrapeptide derived from a natural pineal gland protein called epithalamin. It works primarily by activating telomerase, an enzyme that restores and lengthens telomeres, the protective DNA caps that shorten with age. Longer telomeres are associated with improved cell longevity and reduced cellular damage. Epitalon also helps regulate melatonin production, improving sleep cycles, immune function, and oxidative stress resistance. In animal studies, it has shown potential to extend lifespan and enhance overall health by maintaining genetic stability and reducing tumor formation. In bodybuilding and wellness applications, it's used to improve recovery, energy, and sleep quality while slowing signs of aging. Side effects are rare but may include mild dizziness or low blood pressure. Despite its promising data, Epitalon is not FDA approved, and its anti-aging claims in humans remain experimental and unverified by large-scale clinical trials. Modalin and ghrelin mimetics are peptides that mimic the body's natural gastrointestinal hormones responsible for hunger and digestion. Modalin stimulates smooth muscle contractions in the digestive tract, promoting gastric emptying and maintaining healthy motility between meals. Ghrelin, often called the hunger hormone, triggers appetite and also plays a major role in releasing growth hormone, GH, from the pituitary gland. Synthetic mimetics of these peptides are designed to enhance appetite, digestion, and energy regulation, particularly useful for athletes or bodybuilders struggling to maintain a calorie surplus during intense training or bulking cycles. They can also improve nutrient absorption and gut health by supporting rhythmic stomach contractions. However, excessive use may cause constant hunger, bloating, or gastrointestinal discomfort. While promising for metabolic research, modelin and ghrelin analogs are not approved for bodybuilding or general use, and purity or dosing inconsistencies are common in unregulated markets.